Hello guys, so today we have the explanation for the quiz questions and first of all there is a question about the uh, physiological solution which is 150 millimolar and we have the sodium chloride here which means the osmolarity will be calculated uh, because we have two particles, so two ions and we need to choose the solutions which are isotonic to this concentration of sodium chloride and the part about the choosing all that apply was not included in a question so you might have answered either A or D and in fact both are correct and this question was going to be the multiple correct choice question and as you can see, so the osmolarity of the sodium chloride would be 2 times 150 millimolar and it is 300 milliosm. Okay, so what are the 300 milliosm here? So glucose, because it gives only one osmotically active particle, so we have 300. Uh, so the second one is not fine, this one is not fine, and this one is not fine. So what is 0 0.15 um, phosphate, hydrophosphate of the sodium? It is actually the two-particle substance. So we have sodium and h 2 4 minus. So one particle and second particle. And because we have 150 millimolar concentration, it also gives us 300 milliosm. So the correct answers are A and D. So those who chose either of these answers will have the full mark. Okay, so we have the second question. So the question about the osmolarity. So you have to count the number of particles and then count the osmolarity so in in total you will need to write the uh, osmolarity here so sodium chloride will dissociate onto sodium and chlorine the potassium chlorine will be like this so potassium and chlorine finally calcium and two chlorines so it's two plus and minus minus so magnesium the same way so it's chlorine and chlorine here we have sodium and the hydrophosphate here we have the sodium and hydrocarbonate finally we have the glucose as the single particle so one here, two, two, three, three, two, and two. And now what we need, we need to multiply this number by the molarity of the solution. So it's 250 milliosm. 2.5 times 2 is 5 milliosm. Then we have 6, 6, 2.5. 52 and 20 okay so when we calculate the total it's uh, 341.5 milliosm so this is the final answer and also you need to write these guys too and we have one question from the previous quiz so it's about the conversion, so we have 56 milliliters and 35 milliliters. And we need to convert them into picoliters here and microliters here. So first of all, let's determine what is milliliter. It is 10 to the power of minus 3 liters. Then the picoliter, which is 10 to the power of minus 12 liters and microliter is 10 to the power of minus 6 liters and of course here you will need to um, 
to have this conversion you have times 10 to the power of minus 3 and then divide it by the picoliters which is 10 to the power of minus uh, minus 12 so minus 12 and the answer would be 56 times 10 to the power of 9 so we have minus 3 and 3 here so we can cancel these guys so we, we are left with uh, 9 only here so when it goes up it loses the minus and for this guy we have 10 to the power of minus 3 divided by 10 to the power of minus 6 so here we will have 35 times 10 to the power of 3 of course we have picoliters here and microliters here this is not the end and although many of you wrote the answer like this it is not correct because in scientific notation we cannot go more than tens so 56 is not the right way to show the answer here so we need to move one decimal point here so it becomes 5.6 times 10 because we moved it to the left we need to add one uh, power here so it's 10 to the power of 10 picoliters and here it goes the same so it's 3.5 times 10 to the power of 4 microliters again why we do that because we are writing it in scientific notation and scientific notation operates from 0 to 9 nothing else so there there is nothing like 10 times 10 to the power of something so if we go into tens we move this decimal point here and add some here so this is the way of the scientific notation okay so the final answer will be like this and this